Happy Thursday, everyone. Welcome to Connection.tv. Uh, we're very pleased to have uh, everybody on board. Uh, my name is Patrick Faneuf. I'm here with my colleague Martin Blanchard. Uh, and we're very pleased to welcome you. We have over 170 people uh, uh, from six different countries covering seven different time zones. Uh, uh, so very pleased to have all you on board for this English presentation of Connection.tv. Uh, a little bit of housekeeping before we start. Uh, we'll proceed with a little bit of presentation. This will be followed by a question period. After the question period, I would love to invite you to stay on the platform, roam from table to table. Everybody that is here is a part of the event industry. So a great opportunity to make new friends. And as you know, with what we all are going through right now, a new friend, I think, is just what we need. So I invite you to roam, go from table to table, table meet people, talk, enjoy, make new connections. Uh, uh, that's what the platform is here for. Uh, so without any further ado, I'll pass it over to Martin, uh, who will begin the presentation. Thank you for being here with us. Thanks, Pat. Thank you. Um, welcome, guys. Good morning to some of you. Good afternoon to some others. Good evening to uh, some people. We got people in India tonight, and so tonight it's uh, 8.30 or close to 9 o'clock in, in India, and uh, so we're really excited about this. This is great. We've, uh, we've been working very, very hard uh, in the past few months to try to reinvent ourselves and try to adapt to this new situation, and I think we came up with a pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, solution. Um, as you know, COVID uh, here in North America hit pretty hard on, in March. Uh, and then uh, for us, March 15th was kind of a very uh, awkward date where we received pretty much cancellations on all, all of our contracts uh, for expertise for our AV company. And so, uh, uh, you know, I always give the, the boxer analogy where we got it pretty hard on the chin. And for two weeks, we were kind of numble, like, we, what's happening here, right? And so two weeks later, we kind of decided to sit down and try to see how we could change our business model, model and, and try to reinvent ourselves. So uh, starting April 1st, uh, we sat down with our uh, uh, sales team at Expertise, and every morning, 9.30, coffee, everybody on Google Meet, and we would sit down and have a talk and say, guys, what are we doing? Like, what, what's going to happen? And, and so at first, you know, we thought that, that events would come back in a month or two, and we quickly realized that everything would, would be pushed for quite a while. So, uh, so basically, we, uh, we uh, got the team together and then started to, uh, to um, uh, reinvent the way uh, virtual events are done. Some of you are here for the first time and have not seen the whole presentation, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna show a two minute uh, video, it's two minutes and 30 seconds, basically give you, a, give you an idea of what the platform is. And then once that video is done, then we'll go into more depth and we don't wanna take more, much time, it's gonna take about probably 20 minutes, 25 minutes max, and then after that you guys can answer it. We can ask questions and we can uh, hopefully answer your questions. So let's go to that video. Welcome to Connection.tv, the virtual event platform designed and engineered to promote interactive communication between attendees. Once registration is completed, the users access the event hub. This immersive modular space is completely customizable, allowing organizers to display logos of sponsors and partners, as well as the event signature. The hub contains multiple clickable links facilitating the navigation towards the different event locations. Other sections of the platform are accessible from the pull-down menu located in the top left corner. Let's explore the convention space. By selecting the conference they're attending, participants will be invited to a virtual table. Gathered in groups of eight, the participants can network and discuss while awaiting the beginning of the presentation. The broadcast center controls the center tile. This tile streams in real time the audio and video content which can be modified by the event organizers. At the beginning of the conference, attendees' microphones and webcams are muted and the conference broadcast fills the tile space. From this point, participants at each table can chat with the other participants at the virtual table. 
One simple click allows you to ask a question or interact live with the presenter in video mode. The Virtual Expo floor provides exhibitors with the ability to promote their products and services by presenting corporate videos, PowerPoint, or other media. From a floor plan, attendees can use the search feature or click on a logo to access the booth. We can also create a custom 3D virtual booth as an option. Multiple team building games are available to increase attendee participation, increase engagement, and break the fourth wall. This includes real-time voting and results. The silent auction module allows organizers to manage lots, bids, and bid increments in real time. Connection.tv, the virtual and hybrid event platform. <laughs>so uh so this gave you a, a like a, a, a general idea of what the platform is and we're going to get into more details now uh but we keenly we, we we quickly came to conclude to the conclusion that uh the zooms and the teams and the meets of the world uh, did not were great communication tools don't, don't get me wrong they, they are awesome to communicate between different people but for event, it, it, it's hard to use those, uh, those platforms because they're not customizable. They're, you know, they're, there's a bunch of, of, uh, of, of difficulties that come around with that. So what we decided to do is to build our own. We decided to start from scratch, uh, erase the, 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 the board, and just do it from scratch. And, and so we, we, and we realized that the whole industry could need an event-based solution for virtual events. And there's a bunch of stuff out there we think we've got a good plan, and, and, and so far the, re, the, the response has been awesome, uh, but uh, you know, there's, there's other, other platforms available out there, I, we, I think, or you know, I, I think we're, that our platform is, is pretty cool. We're a little biased on that, but I believe we have a good solution. <laughs> exactly. I would agree with you on that. So after looking at everybody else and looking at all the different platforms and coming up with different ideas on our side, uh, we decided to, to build our own solution so that we had full control over it. And that's the, the important part, is that we don't rely on, a, on, on Zoom or on Teams or anybody else. We rely only on ourselves. We had a great team of programmers. Uh, we teamed up with a bunch of guys from Novum uh, Interactive, and these guys are awesome. We've been working closely with them. And, so, uh, and also what we did is we decided to share it with the whole industry. And so uh, Expertise, our AV company, is a, a member of the AV Alliance and so we've got a bunch of guys from the AV Alliance here today with us on, the, on, on different tables. And then we have a bunch of guys from the RSN in North America. And that is awesome. We got guys from Boston. We got guys from LA and San Francisco and Raleigh. And so this is, this is really cool because we're, we're sharing this with, uh, with the people that uh, are working with us. And, and now they can use the solution as well. And so... Um, uh, Right now, we're broadcasting live from our studio in Montreal. So we have a small studio that we built at the Metropolitan Golf Club uh, in Montreal. So right now, it's kind of a torture because we see golfers going out you know, for rounds of golf, and we're sitting here in the studio, but you know, for, for a, good, uh, a good cause. Uh, but uh, uh, the main feature of the platform, and just to say about studios, the studio can be anywhere, right? The studio can be in Geneva, or it could be in New Delhi. It could be anywhere around the world. And we've got, a, <laughs> we've got <laughs> Quebec City or La Pocatia. We've got, we've got a great network of companies who all have different studios and we can make use of that. And so if you had speakers in Chicago or speakers in Paris, no problem, we've got the network for you guys. And so this is one of the key features is that we can broadcast from anywhere around the world. You could eventually broadcast from home and, and be sitting at home and broadcast. So this is one of the features that's gonna come uh, pretty soon. Um, the main feature of the platform is having those virtual tables. And the reason being is that we decided to do the, you know, there's no point in doing an event uh, where everybody's looking at the same thing, just like if you were seated, seated theater style in, in a meeting room, because virtually you're not seated next to people, you're seat, seated uh, alone at home. So we decided to do that, this in kind of round tables where you got eight people, nine plus yourself, sitting at, at a table, being able to discuss and talk to your friends, meet new people, network, and then, and then once the event starts, like you saw, 
everything becomes full screen. And at the end of the event, then you can you know, say, talk, to, talk to the folks around the table and say, hey, what, do you th what, what are you thinking about this or, or that? And, and so the, the eight or nine people, including yourself, uh, the reason being is that there's two reasons behind that. One of the reasons is that we, uh, we think that over 10 people on a Zoom call or on a Teams call, it becomes hectic. You know, you, we've all had meetings with 20 people where it's, you know, uh, in French we say it's the bordel, right? Everybody tries to talk on top of the, uh, one another. It's not fun. So what we decided to do is limit it to a smaller group so that it, be, it becomes easier to speak to one another. And also the graphics. It's fun to have eight windows around the broadcast center. So everybody's sitting around the event. And that was one of the nice feature, nice idea that we had was to, you know, make it graphically look uh, interesting. It's scalable. You can have as many tables as you want. We can go up right now to about 12,000 participants into a single event. We will increase that number. And so, uh, and one of the great features also is the ability to uh, use your own event signature. And that's really important for organizations that want to talk to different people. We want them to be able to customize the platform the way they want, put their sponsors, put their logos, and, and just make it look uh, their own. Um, the platform allows multiple feed, so you can have multiple live feed at the same time in different various rooms. Uh, the platform allows for multiple breakout sessions, whether they're live or on demand. And so this is important because if you had a, a, a major conference where you had one live plenary but 15 breakouts, totally doable on the platform. Um, the exhibit space, and we're going to talk a little bit more about the exhibit space. It's not, uh, right now you, you can go and look at in the platform, you, you'll be able to go and I think there's three booths there and they're just examples. Uh, uh, Pat is going to talk to you when uh, the exhibit space is going to be live, but the exhibit space is awesome because now you can create 3D custom booths and one of the nice features is that you have access to put a live virtual table at every booth. So if you're a company and you want to exhibit somewhere, you would have a live virtual table where one of your representative is sitting there and people visiting can go and talk to that person. And, there, and then there's a possibility of having multiple uh, uh, tables at one booth. So that's a, that's a very cool feature. Sure. Another feature is the silent auction. So if you had a foundation, if you had a charity and you wanted to raise money for whatever cause, you can use the auction, the live auction, to throw some gifts or some prizes or some you know, things to sell and then people can go bid and it's all you know, in, in, <coughs> in real time. We're gonna go to uh, uh, the question period and, and let me explain how it works, right? So everybody's seated, at, uh, everybody's seated at different tables. You have in the top corner um, uh, of your screen, top right corner of your screen, a take uh, what's, the, what's the name? Take. Uh, uh, li uh, uh, prendre la parole. Prendre la parole. What's Sorry, the, I forgot the English word for it. I forgot the in English <laughs> translation. Anyway, ask a video question or, or go live. And so if you uh, decide to ask me a question, ask us a, a question, you can take, uh, click on that button and you're going to be uh, put in a waiting room, a waiting queue of people that wants to uh, take uh, 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 questions. And also, uh, you can write a question. So you, there's two options there. If you're too shy to come live in front of everybody, you can write in your question. We have monitors in front of us uh, looking at what's happening. And so you can write in questions. Just click send and we'll see them. And then if you want to talk to us, don't hesitate. I think we have a first uh, first uh, uh, candidate, Jason Showers. He, uh, he wants to uh, ask a question. And... Um, um, we, uh, you can, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, once we send him live, he's going to have a, a five second uh, countdown. And then after five seconds, he's going to be live with us. And so I've got uh, Jason uh, Showers. Jason, your mic is muted. So don't, uh, don't uh, uh, forget to unmute your mic. And then once your mic is unmuted, then we can talk and we should hear you. Jason, how are you doing? I'm well, thanks. How are you? Awesome, have, awesome. We're, we're, so Jason, where are you at? I'm uh, with Advanced Aging Productions in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Oh, great, great. How's Ryan doing? He's doing all right? <laughs> yeah, he's doing well. They're at our table. Uh, him and Steve and Bill are all at a separate computer awesome, awesome. In, our, in our lunchroom. Good, so, good to see you guys. Uh, thanks so much. I want to experience what the live question was like. This is a very exciting feature that very few platforms we've seen. Uh, actually, no platforms have this feature where we can come live and talk to the presenters. Um, I did have a question, something that came up just now while we were watching this presentation. The virtual table is awesome. I wondered, did you consider 
or was it technically possible to have a very small video preview like I have of myself, of my table mates, also on that side panel during the live presentation as a way to feel even more connected to the group? Um, There's, uh, I'll, I'll take that one. Uh, so when you're seated at the virtual table, the, uh, uh, the presentation becomes full screen. There's a toggle that where you can go between mosaic mode or presentation mode. I believe there's four arrows pointing. So that gives you the ability to see the virtual tables, uh, uh, people seated at your virtual tables while you're attending the conference. So when you go back to, to your virtual table after uh, you're in the question period zone, uh, you'll be able to see uh, you can go to mosaic mode versus presentation mode. So yes, there is a possibility to do that. Yeah. Okay. But then that would also take the presentation to be the, one of the nine tiles. Correct? That is like, correct. That is that, correct. Okay. All right. That is correct. Cool. Thank you for your question. Awesome.